This is the 10th June 2018 build of AOSP Extended ROM for Redmi Note 3. I will try to make it short and if you want to watch in depth review of this ROM, here is a card for you. Now let me show you the basic stuff. The stock launcher over here is a modified pixel launcher. To the left we have Google Now cards. The ROM is super smooth for daily driving I have to say and here is the about section for you. Here is the stock kernel name. Let me reduce the screen brightness by sliding a finger on the status bar so yeah that feature is there. Security patch is of 5th June 2018, running on Android 8.1. Let me just use the 8 gestures to go back. As you can see, it goes back. And from system updates, of course you can check for updates if there is a new build available. But this one is the latest as of now. And let me show you the gestures again. If you swipe up from the bottom and hold, you get this grid style recents which I set it manually from the settings. And as you can see, I disabled the hardware keys from the customization settings. And let me open up a few apps now and show you the speeds and the RAM management. The app open up speeds are fine for daily driving but one bad thing here is about the RAM management. Well it's just bad. Even a little bit of heavy apps like Facebook removes itself from memory if you open up 5 to 6 apps in the background. Only light apps like audio recorder and stuff stays in memory so if you want good RAM management I can't simply recommend you this ROM. Here is how the recent apps panel looks like when a few apps are opened in the grid layout and this is how the animations looks like if you close these apps one by one and you get a clear all button too to clear all of the apps together from memory. Though the battery life on this ROM is not bad, I managed to get around 4 or more hours of screen on time so it's pretty good enough considering the device is old. Inside customizations. We do have all the stuff which we had on previous builds like the brightness control which I showed you already from the status bar and vault cause does work fine here so you do not have to worry and we have this power button long press to toggle torch and as you can see it works fine. From the buttons I disabled the hardware keys intentionally because I have been using edge gestures which is working fine. From recents, you can change the recents layout style to grid or android go or even the stock audio one. Inside navigation, you will find the edge gestures option up here and here is the settings that I am using for edge gestures. I just decreased the haptic feedback to zero. The stock camera in this ROM is snapdragon camera app but yeah you can definitely install GC Mod 5 if you want to. Now let me show you the display settings. We have night light option up here. We have double tap to wake too which works super fine. You can change the UI color to light or dark. And you get a lot of accent color options to choose from. And we do have a lot of fonts here and it can be applied throughout the whole UI. Even though the performance is good enough, one thing that really disappoints me here is banking apps like this simply doesn't work over here but do note that I have not tried it with Magisk as most ROMs nowadays supports banking apps without the need of flashing Magisk so in my opinion you can take this as a con of this ROM. We have double tap to sleep on the home screen, double tap to sleep on the status bar is there and double tap to sleep on the lock screen too is present over here. So that's a wrap for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and if you wanna see many more awesome custom ROM contents related to Redmi Note 3 and Redmi Note 5 Pro, this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys later.